Hello. A little while ago, Jane Kelly uh, from Jane's Allotment uh, invited me to join in her five in five challenge. And that's five gardening tips in five minutes. I'm Liz Zorab and this is By The Farm. So I'll set the timer going and we'll start now. So my first tip is to dream big. Let your imagination run wild. Think of all the things you want in your garden and all the things you want to grow. start small so start by creating just a small area or one raised bed and just concentrate on one space at a time get that how you want it and then move on to the next one and that way you won't feel like you've bitten off more than you can chew Get brave and experiment and try new varieties or completely new things that you haven't grown before. This runner bean is a variety called White Lady, which I found about 20 years ago and I absolutely love it. Uh, and I've grown it every year, but I still experiment with trying other varieties to see if I like those as well. And as part of that experimenting, uh, I grew Bolotti beans. So I haven't tried these till about three, four years ago. They're amazing. They're absolutely lovely. I love the taste of them. And I have grown them. Well, I grew so many of them uh, in the second year uh, that I didn't need to grow any last year. So I've grown some more now uh, and I'll continue growing these. But if it wasn't for experimenting, I would never have found them. And to add to my collection of extraordinary vegetables, uh, I've just harvested the first uh, jumbo pink banana squash uh, which is still fairly yellow but as it ages uh, it looks more pink um, and it's <laughs> it's huge it's also worth saving your own seeds uh, so save seeds from year to year it will save you money but not only that these seeds will have become acclimatized to the local conditions here uh, they'll be stronger they'll be sturdier uh, they'll be more resistant uh, to the local conditions but you can also take cuttings layer plants and divide them whichever way it is keep those plants that you really like going And don't be afraid to ask for help, whether that is advice on how to grow something uh, or whether you want uh, to have a piece of somebody else's plant. Gardeners by nature tend to be very generous. So if you said, I really like this, what have we got here? Penstemon, uh, is there any chance I could have a cutting? Uh, many gardeners will just happily uh, give you a cutting to take home uh, and grow on for yourself. I'll pop this one in a pot. And cuttings of a white climbing rose. Um, these were given to me by my friend Jane. So she took these cuttings. And lastly, don't forget to spend a bit of time in your garden, just enjoying it, not working in it, appreciating the beauty that's around you or how productive your space is. And just have a little bit of time with you and nature and relaxing.
If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And the final part of Jane's challenge uh, is to tag three more channels to join in. And so I'm tagging Erica at Erica's Little Welsh Garden, Jeff at Brimwood Farm and Rose over at Wholesome Roots. And if you're not familiar with those channels or with Jane's, I'll leave the information in the description below. They're brilliant channels. It's really worth checking them out.